Ryan, thank you very much for joining us. SA20, thing of the past, now Test Cricket, Red Bull stuff, and you've been scoring runs at will with that Red Bull. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to obviously, you know, um, grab my opportunity when the Red Bull comes. Um, really worked hard on my game and, and nailing down what I want to execute. And fortunately enough, with a lot of motivation and, you know, a few opportunities um, to play, you know, some games in, in South Africa, I like to think I've taken the chances and, you know, looking forward to hopefully trying to replicate that uh, on a different stage. And when we talk Red Bull, South Africa, we talk difficulty in openers when you play Red Bull cricket in South Africa. And who better to ask you about that? Yeah, I think difficulty everywhere in the world opening the batting, no doubt. Um, but I think, you know, nonetheless, here in Pretoria and Joburg, uh, I think, you know, all conditions are tough to play in, but, you know, uh, you're really exposed um, in the top order, even in the middle order against a newer ball. But, you know, as a test match goes on, it uh, starts to stay a little bit up and down and obviously seems around throughout the tournament, I mean, throughout the, the game. So, yeah, it's challenging conditions, but again, with high uh, risk comes a lot of reward. Um, and if you're able to get through those tough patches, there's a lot of scoring opportunities as well. Plenty of changes within the setup, new coach, new captain. You're quite familiar with the captain now, Temba Bavuma, spending a lot of time together at the line. Yeah, fortunate enough to play um, quite a lot under Tiger, or Temba. Um, yeah. Uh, you yeah, obviously know him quite nicely over the last couple of years. He's been part of my journey um, from when I first entered the Lions when I was about 19. So, you know, I have a nice relationship with him. Um, he's a horrible golf partner as well. <laughs> so, like I said, we've got a nice relationship. And uh, even with Shooks, I was part of his National Academy team that went to Sri Lanka. So, got a really gotten a, a relationship with obviously both of them and looking forward to see how they go and obviously looking forward to, to playing a role in, in what they see in this, in this test side. Relationships? often said to be key in any team environment. Personally, where are you in terms of your game and your cricket? Uh, you know, always looking to get better. Um, you know, scoring runs is obviously, I think, what the metrics of success, but there are different successes along the way. Um, and how, personally, it's a lot about how I feel, um, how I feel going into the game and the confidence I get playing against better players. Um, so for me, going forward now, just for this series as well, I'm, I'm looking to obviously just, you know, stay as calm as I can and remain true to myself. Obviously, everyone wants to get hundreds um, and a lot of the time it's quite unrealistic. So looking not to really put too much pressure on myself um, and just make sure that I bring the best version of myself out there because I know that if I, if I give myself the best opportunity to, to play naturally, I give myself, like I said, the best opportunity to get 100 as well and get, and get runs for the side. So looking forward to, you know, just trying to be mentally strong um, tick all the right boxes in terms of my preparation and not put too much pressure on myself. Um, I'm not here to solve any problems. I'm still trying to find my feet at this at this level as well. So, you know, there, there's no, I don't see that there's any extra burden or any extra weight on my shoulders. Um, we're all in the same boat looking for test hundreds. And like I said, I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to be the guy that's going to change that. Ryan, thank you very much for your time and all the best. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers.